I'm 73. Yeah, at my age, I often have no idea what day it is. Last Monday, I got up and I got dressed for church. Getting dressed for church on Monday morning. That's so stupid. I don't go to church on Monday morning. I'm Jewish. I don't go to church at all. In the 1960s, I grew up in Akron, Ohio. Dead silence. Exactly right. There was nothing to do. Well, except for going to evangelical churches to be saved. And even though I'm Jewish, I went to see the Reverend Rex Humbard preach at the cathedral tomorrow. Whoa, is he amazing. I can still hear him preaching today. Brothers and sisters, I can take all of your sins. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Amen! I can take all of your ills. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Amen. Amen! I can take all major credit cards. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! And boy, howdy. I wanted that power. So I went to my career counselor and I said, Rabbi, I want to be an evangelical preacher. And that's when I found out they don't let Jews do that. I still want to screw people, so I became a lawyer. Now, as a lawyer, I spend a lot of time in airplanes. And I am not a fan. I particularly do not like to have turbulence. And last week, I was going from D.C. to Dallas. Oh, man, it was so turbulent. My stomach thought it was an Olympic gymnast doing the flips. And just when we should have been landing, this comes out. Well, this is our pilot speaking. We uh, have an emergency. Dallas is closed because of weather, and we're running out of fuel. <laughs> so we're going to try to make a landing. <laughs> so I'm looking for a prayer book, any prayer book. I'm looking for my rosaries. Yeah, I know I'm Jewish, but I hate crashing even more than turbulence. <laughs> and then my seatmate Alice grabs my arm. Oh my, oh my. Karma is getting even with me for having a glorious affair in D.C. And just as she says that, the plane goes up on one wing. And then the nose goes down. And we land. Hallelujah! The entire plane starts applauding, except for Alice. Oh, Lord. When I thought I was going to die, I texted my husband and I admitted my mortal sin. Oh, Alice, you are an idiot. You didn't have to text your husband. In D.C., everybody gets fucked. Now, I have lived in D.C. for 40 years, and I love it. Except, it's getting so expensive. You wouldn't believe what it costs these days to buy a politician. <laughs> and they're not worth it. Both DC and Georgia have politicians who tweeted the Jews control the weather. Come on. We haven't been able to control the weather since we left Egypt the first time. And I'll tell you a little secret. If we really had that superpower, we just keep Manhattan a toasty 78 degrees. <laughs> hey look, I don't care what all those Jew haters say. We don't control the media, we don't control the banks, and good golly, Miss Molly, we did not sink the Titanic. That was an iceberg, not a Goldberg. <laughs> At 73, I feel like I still have a lot of life left to live. I got goals, I got plans. I want to ride my bicycle clear across the country. I want to see my grandchildren graduate from college. And if I'm really, really lucky, after 50 years of marriage, I want my wife to come to my shows. Those <laughs> my age also have plans. They're planning on dying. They 
are clearing out the family home and buying single floor condos. They are buying cemetery clubs, and some of them are in Ohio. Why? So the kids won't be bothered. So the kids won't be bothered? Fuck the kids! You don't think I was bothered going to ever swim meet, and track meet, and pray to the Lord on high? Please, please, don't make the finals. <laughs> I'm still sacrificing for my kids. I even going to use my password for Pornhub Pro. <laughs> oh, you didn't know there was a Pornhub Pro. Well, that's the kind of dad I am. <laughs> Let me tell you something. There's no way I am buying a cemetery plot in some place like Ohio. Look, I believe that after you're done, your spirit continues to exist as long as people remember you. When I remember you, they have to visit your grave. Well, if I'm buried in some podunk town in Ohio, nobody's visiting, no one's going to remember me. That's why we need Destination funerals. <laughs> yeah, Disney needs to step up and start offering destination funerals coupled with timeshares. I mean, imagine a Disney Graveland located in beautiful Orlando between the parks and DeSantis' prison. It's where the woke can go to die and be buried. I want to be buried in a classic Disney funeral with a crystal casket, with a pumpkin hearse, and for my pallbearers, I want the seven dwarfs. <laughs> I ho, I ho, it's off to Barry Mark we go. <laughs> and then, every year, on the anniversary of my death, my descendants can come, stay at the park for free, but before they go, they'll be brought to the front of the park, they'll be given mouse ears, and an iconic Disney character will lead them past my grave. Someone like, um, Goofy. <laughs> Hi, you kids. Welcome back. That's Grandpa's current playland. <laughs> well, let's sing. Grand Paul, Grandpa, Grand Dog, he ain't breathing. That's why we're grieving. His heart stopped to beating, and now he's gone. Let's go to Space Mountain. <laughs> hey, when my kids were little, they thought I was a god. When they became teenagers, they thought I was a idiot. And when they became young adults, they thought I was an ATM. But now they're grown with kids of their own. And they treat me like I'm a child. They say things to me like, my house, my rules. It's COVID out there, wear a mask. And Dad, stop fidgeting, we're trying to change your diaper. I hate the fact that just because I'm over seven, people think that I'm old. That on the Bart pregnant women give me their seat. And then my only pickup line is help. I've fallen and I can't get it up. But I understand, I too. As you get older, you change. A young man of 22 dreamed of having a mistress who's young and sexy and will dress up like a nurse. An old man of 92 dreams of having a mistress that's a nurse. The young man really wants his mistress to knock his socks off. The old man really wants his mistress to, please, put your socks back on. Look, old age is an attitude, not an attitude. And personally, I think that you're not old unless your side piece is your night nurse and your spouse appreciates the help. And I'm not old. I walk my dog every day, twice a day, for two hours. Yeah! She'll only be an hour and a half, but that damn dog stops every ten minutes. So I can pee. I'm Mark Calchuk.